Right. So when you look around the room, you know, we got several dozen individuals that are here tonight and here this whole weekend taking time out of their schedules, whether they're on drill, not on drill, you know, it's another guard weekend in essence for a lot of people. And that's a lot of time and a lot of commitment. But why do we do what we do, right? You just heard the prime reason why we do it for stories like that. Because it connects everybody. Let me get this out of the way before it starts clicking and stuff. Alright? Why is it important? You just heard it. And there it is right there. All the uniforms from all the generations going back from when this division had started, right, to include the current serving members. You know, there's 7,000 plus 3rd, 4th Infantry Division soldiers in between Iowa and Minnesota alone, roughly, right? So when you look around the room, we got to spread the word, and we got to get these young soldiers involved with the organization and keep it moving forward. You know, Russ Burrell and his team and the, the Gold Star Museum on Camp Dodge have really kept this organization going for years. They're the primary drivers to make sure we're doing these reunions and, and they're tracking everything, all right? But somebody has to pick up the torch and move along with this, okay? So you see it right there. Why is this important? How about this cemetery right here, all right, in Europe? It's because of those guys. 3rd or 4th Infantry Division guys. Oh, and by the way, it's probably really important to these guys that did not come home. You know, members of the 133, 135, 168 that are still laying over there. They don't have the opportunity to live to 100 years old or come to these reunions. This is why it's important to keep the association and continue with these reunions and spread the word and grow the message. You know, it's amazing this day and age of social media um, that we don't have a thousand people sitting here. It's also important to these guys, and I'll talk a little bit about this. So the association pays for these wreaths to get presented overseas every year. That comes out of this association's budget, right? Very important. So Mike Muscle handles that for us, and he's here tonight. Memorial Day. So what we've done in the past year, we have an associate chapter in Italy. They just started this year, but they're a group of really committed guys, and they're really committed to the 133 Infantry. They call themselves the Iron Man Battalion, right? Because the 133 liberated the town that these guys live in, and they celebrate the 133 Infantry every year on that day. And they also, you'll see a slide in here for them, they go to all the memorial services. This year they presented the wreaths and put some wreaths down in the cemeteries on our behalf. And they do a really good job sending us photos and keeping in contact with us. And I have no words for this one, there it is. from that chapter, associate chapter, in Italy, and, and what it means to them. But they do a really good job. And they always apologize for their English. But the one thing that they really do well, you know, we, we call them staff rides, where, where you know, staffs and, and individuals and soldiers go out to the significant battlefields or just any battlefield and not only just reenact it, but just talk through the battle and, and all the war fighting functions associated with it. They actually reenact and send reports back of what they've done. And they try and do it at the exact location and the exact time frame, day, day of the week, or day of the month and time of the day to fully get the you know, full immersion in the battle.
And here you can see the monument that they have for the 133. All right, so the other thing we did, we did chapter reports this morning for those that were part of the business meeting. You know, we have chapters across Minnesota and Iowa, right? We got the Commander's Own, we got to the Last Man chapter, we got the Iron Man chapter, we got uh, Council Bluffs chapter, and obviously we got the, uh, really the association and the Des Moines chapter, you know, co-located at the museum on Camp Dodge, all right? But routinely, Council Bluffs is starting their organization. Here in the past year, the 133 have reignited their organization and initiated their chapter again with 17 individuals, and now it's up to about 23. Here's the Council Bluffs chapter from April. They host basically every six months or so, they just send out a no-host social, kind of like what we did last night, for anybody, regardless of rank, uh, whether you know anybody or not, they just send out a phone call, say anybody that was a Red Bull in Southwest Iowa, show up. And they just had their second one last weekend, actually. Uh, First Sergeant Jed Lippin was present for that one. All right, so here's the, here's the whole reason I'm doing this presentation that I almost did not do after hearing that story. You can read it. This is a letter from Ed Hess's VFW to the 34th Infantry Division Association. And they had reached out to us and requested gifts. So the two, to the last man, 135, sent them gifts. We sent them gifts. We sent battle maps. We sent hats, uh, the Red Bull caps. Uh, we sent them patches. And you can see up there how important it was to them and what a significant event it was to have his 100th birthday there and, and what it meant. So, why do we do what we do and why is this association important? You just heard a story about Ed Hess that I had never heard before, but his VFW reached out to us to send gifts to Ed Hess. So it's come full circle. He is proud to be a Red Bull. It's his Red Bulls is how he refers it to them. And there's Ed right there in front of the print of the Red Bull and Winter Line that we sent to him. And we had it signed. Uh, at the time, we couldn't get up to Minnesota, but we had it signed from every command team in Iowa. Not just the 2nd Brigade, I'm talking every command team, uh, the Tank Attic Commanders Hall, and all the commanders from across the state were there down at the company level. And everybody that was present signed the Red Bull and Winter Line print, and we sent it over there to him. And that's him sitting in front of the print uh, with tears in his eyes praying for the current soldiers because that's all he really wanted to do is connect with soldiers that are serving today. And I don't know if it was spawned by Andy in the back, but it was a great thing. So why is this association important? For that reason, for that man, Mr. Halverson sit right there uh, for this table in the front with Dick Jedlicka. For all these tables in here, this is why the association is important. Uh, General Correll, actually for, for Ed Hess, General Correll wrote a personal letter from theater that he sent to me, and we put it in the package, and we got a letter back saying thank you uh, for the letters. So with that, we'll come to a close here very shortly. It's really been my pleasure for the past year to be the president of the association. Uh, I'm going to introduce the next president coming up, but I do want to announce next year's reunion will be the first weekend of October uh, in Johnston, Iowa, so we'll move back to Iowa. And really the goal is to get back to the cycle where the president from that state hosts it, or an organization in the state hosts it, uh, and then it keeps going back and forth between Iowa and Minnesota, and we keep growing the message and growing the organization. So with that said, uh, thank you to the Commander's Own Chapter, General Cruz, uh, everybody present in the, in the audience. I'm going to introduce uh, first our two-year president down the road, 
uh, Wade Hayes, he's going to host it the next time it's in Minnesota, he'll be the president. All right? So that's two years ago. So two years from now, we'll be here at Camp Ripley or wherever you decide, sir, uh, that you want to host it. Uh, but uh, right now, I want to introduce, before we say goodbye and end this, uh, the next president of the association, uh, first sergeant retired, Nick Tedlin.